Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. Before I go even further though, I have a question for you guys. Are you guys familiar with those YouTube channels that have the list videos on them? I'm talking about the top 15 this or the top 20 that, etc, etc. Well, I personally think that these particular channels can be extremely interesting, especially when it involves science, which is why I'm making this next video. Now, I happened to stumble across one of these videos a while back that was absolutely fucking hilarious. The reason why I say that is because of the fact that the thumbnail consisted of Jesus hovering over the planet Earth, and the title of the video was 15 Things That Science Cannot Explain. <laughs> Now, right from the beginning, I pretty much knew that this video was obviously going to be a biased video because what they were actually saying was, well, since science cannot explain these things, God done did it. You know, this is the type of mentality that Christians have in this country, and it literally makes me sick. But I watched the video anyway, and after I watched it, I was motivated to create a video with my own questions for Christians. So here we go. Number one. If God is omnipotent and all-powerful, why did he take six days to create everything? Why not speak everything into existence all at once? Number two, why won't God heal amputees? Number three, if God is so perfect, then why did he create something so imperfect, allowing pain, suffering, and daily atrocities? Number four, why did the little old lady that God healed one Sunday need her walker to get around again next Sunday? Was she only temporarily worthy of healing? Number five, how did Noah fit the millions and millions of species on this planet into his fucking ark? Number six, why do innocent children have to suffer with terminal diseases such as cancer? What part of God's plan is this exactly? Number seven, how is it that the Bible explains the earth to be six to eight thousand years old when we know that dinosaur bones are at least 65 million years old? The missing mink fossil Ida found recently is estimated to be at least 47 mil million years old. Number 8. Why can't the all-powerful God not forgive someone of their sins after they die? Example, a Christian man that is seemingly on God's good list makes a stupid decision and decides to drink a little too much at the fish fry. On his way home, he crashes into a minivan killing a mother and her two children and himself. This man led a very faithful life and made one stupid yet grave mistake. If this man did not ask for forgiveness of his sins before the electrical activity in his brain ceased, then God would judge him and send him to hell to burn for all eternity. Number 9. God wants everyone to worship and follow him, and if they don't, they burn in hell for all eternity. What does this type of attitude say about his character? By definition, he would be described as a tyrant. If Jesus died on the cross and spent three days in hell to pay for the sins of the world, then why would we have to go to hell ourselves and pay for them again? God is then, in essence, being paid for our sins twice. With that said, was Jesus' sacrifice not worthy enough? If that is the case, why should we care that he died for our sins if his sacrifice means nothing at all? This is exactly why I cannot and will not take Christianity seriously. It is a big joke to me. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below.